Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 5 of the Adobe uh, Illustrator tutorial series. So whenever we design, we actually need to have guides for our design. So if I were to make a shape over here, then what it does is I'm uh, designing without a guide. If you are a good graphic designer, then you would want to use guides. And for that, you can actually use rulers and grids. So in order to use ruler, simply press Ctrl R on your keyboard. That actually brings up the ruler uh, over here in Illustrator. So you can drag out some lines over here, some parallel lines, just like this. Okay, drag two lines over here. So I have a guide to uh, draw my um, draw my shapes on. So if I want to draw the shapes of the same size over here, then this actually helps me. Let me just use the uh, elliptical tool over here. So if I were to drag an ellipse, for example, let me just turn on the stroke for this. All right, we're going to talk about stroke in the further lessons. So if I were to drag something over here, then you can see that I can actually use the guide to draw a similar shape just like this. So if I want uh, to draw a, a series of circles, what I can simply do is I can drag um, um, like guides like this, all right, guides like this, and then I can draw my circles on top of this as a, uh, as a guide so I can have a pretty uh, aligned graphics right here. So let me just select this, uh, shift select both of these and then turn on the um, stroke right there so that I can see it. So you can see that I can turn on the grids. So if I want to turn off the grids, I simply go to view and then I go to uh, guides. All right, sorry. I go to view and I'm going to disable the guides over here. So inside the rulers, let's say hide rulers. Uh, okay, that's not over there. Guides, hide guides. Yeah, that's it. So that's how I enable and disable the guides over here. So I can just go view guides and show guides to uh, show the guides. So now what I can do is I can use this to design, but this is not really very effective. If I want to delete the guides, what I can simply do is I can select it all and then just delete. Uh, right now, I think I enabled the lock guide. So I'm going to go to view and then inside the guides, I'm going to uh, disable lock guides so I can select the guides and delete them. So now what I want to do is I may want to use grids. So that is another way to have consistency in your design. So if you want to uh, enable grids, just go to view and go to show grid. So that actually uh, enables grid, but I cannot really see them properly. So what I want to do is I want to go to um, edit on my windows. If you have a Mac, then go to illustrator and then preferences. So I'm going to go to edit and preferences. And then there's something called grids and guides over here. So right now the color of the grid and guide is uh, sign. Okay, the guides is sign and grid is actually gray. I'm going to change that to maybe red. And then I want grid line every, uh, let's say, uh, 72 pixels and subdivision would be eight. Maybe four would be enough for me. Press OK. And over here, if I were to refresh it, you can see that this actually turns into the color now. So now I can see my grids more properly. And if I were to drag, uh, create some shape over here, you can see that I can use the grids, but it is not snapping onto the grid. This is something, sometimes I want this to snap because I cannot manually draw exact shape every time. So I'm gonna go to windows and I'm uh, gonna go to view, sorry for that. I'm gonna go to view and then I'm gonna enable a snap to grid. What this enables me to do is it snaps uh, the shapes onto the grid. So it helps me create perfect shapes. So I can say that this shape is perfectly equal to this shape. So I can simply drag the shapes accordingly to create perfect level grid over here. So this is how you can create perfect shapes for grids. Uh, I can so you can have consistent level of design. So whenever you see some designs, you see that there's consistency in designs, and it is because they use grids. So I can also disable the grid. So hide grid, and it hides the grid. You can see that this is quite proportional to each other, and that looks like a good design. So this is how you use grids and guides inside of Illustrator. Hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.